I think we're in good shape here. We want to start a, um, we're going to do an updated um, video of RuleMaker and some of our transfer credit products. Um, but we want to uh, start with a quick introduction to our website, smartpandatools.com. And here you'll find an overview of all of our products. Um, we, we have tools for transfer credit, for academic advisement, for query and data analytics, um, various uh, for linked classes, and just a whole lot of stuff here. And please take a look. Um, these are almost entirely uh, bolt-ons, which means we're not, they're for PeopleSoft, and we're not changing uh, delivered code, but we're, uh, we're supplementing and, and providing enhanced functionality. Transfer credit has been a major focus of ours over the past couple of years. And I won't go into everything here, but our website does explain everything that we've been doing. We do a lot of stuff in web services and EDI uh, to, uh, we provide tools to pull transcript data electronically into your system, into your PeopleSoft system so that you don't have to be hand entering a lot of transcripts. Um, you can see here in my demo environment I'm not going to go into detail on these, but we have EDI tools and we have uh, web services tools for importing transcripts. Um, uh, we also have a tool called Transcript Express, which I'll be showing you a little bit of. But mostly what I want to focus on this video is our RuleMaker product and also a related product called Equate. And these tools have to do with maintaining credit equivalencies. Uh, transfer rules. So, what did a student? What did a student take? And what do you're going? What credit are you going to give that student? And that's what RuleMaker will help you build and maintain those rules. Um, so, let me, with that brief background, again, that's SmartPandaTools.com. I want to go into our demo environment here, and we've done a major upgrade of RuleMaker. So, this is my um, transfer, what we call transfer now is our product line. This is our, um, the whole set of our tools in a work center. And we're going to be focusing on RuleMaker mostly. So as I mentioned, we've done a major upgrade. Now there's several ways that RuleMaker can be run. We're going to start with what I like to call RuleMaker Classic or RuleMaker Fetch. And because what, what this tool does is allow you to automatically go back and look at the transfer credit that you've already granted to students, fetch it in, and think about if you want to turn it into rules. So you're going to use the past as the way to create the future uh, as far as your transfer rules. Let me show you how this works. We simply have something called Focus Your Fetch. Um, in a large database, you're probably going to want to narrow down to one school at a time, one career at a time, maybe one articulation term at a time, because this fetch is going to return a lot of data. Now you can fetch course credits automated that you've already awarded, or you can fetch course credits manual that you've already awarded, uh, and then we'll talk about complex credits. But what we're doing in this step is fetching data you've already granted, and we're going to turn it into rules. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on Long Beach City College and click fetch. And so what that did with that step is it looked back in my history and found 36 course credits automated that do not have a rule. So I'm going to say OK. And here's the 36 rows were brought into a staging table. Now I'm not going to go into great depth on this, but you can see this is student specific information. The students uh, were already granted credit. This is their articulation term. The blue is the course that they took. So the student took English Comp 100, and the red is what credit we gave them. So they took English Comp 100, and we gave them Math 101. They took Psych 100, we gave them, well, these are, these are crazy, uh, I realize these are crazy examples in my demo environment. So why would we give someone Math for English? Here's a better example. They took Zoology, and we gave them Biology. So the point is that here's our credit. And we're going to turn these into rules. Um, so if I like what I see here, I can make edits if I want. Or if I like what I see, 
Um, we'll also handle requirement designations, by the way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select the rows that I want to turn into rules by clicking this checkbox. Now, you may have a lot of rules, so you can do a select all or you can deselect all and select the ones you want to turn into rules. Now, some of the things we've added, there's a, there's a filter here. There's an analyze. So if I get back hundreds of rows here, for example, for Long Beach City College, if I click analyze, we're going to launch a pivot table here that is part of our query executive tool. And this allows me to drag and drop. So I'm going to say school and course number, and it's going to do counts for me. So in my staging table, you can see I have two biology 11, two econ 10, to history 102 and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this tool but it, it allows me to um, quickly do analytics on my on my transfer data that's included with RuleMaker now and is part of our query executive tool but let's go ahead with the demo here I don't want to go too deep um, we're going to go ahead and say we're going to build these rules here I'm going to save my my selections and go back to the control and here's where it gets easy. Um, you can walk through these tables one at a time, or for the demo here, I'm just going to go through all. I'm just going to click Create All, and what what's going to happen is RuleMaker then is going to automatically create all these tables. So let's click this button. RuleMaker then automatically created my school subjects for Biology, English, and Psych, my school courses, and then with that third click. It automatically created my transfer rules. So again, it took my historical data and made rules. We say, what, what kind of rule did it make? Let's go look at that. So let's go look at Long Beach City College. We're going to be looking for biology. So, and this happens to be for PeopleSoft University. And there is my biology rule right there. Uh, you can click into it. I won't go in great depth here, but that is the rule that we built. And so on the with a couple of clicks, we can create a lot of rules. Um, one thing we've done in the upgrade is we've added a lot of additional configuration. Again, I can't go into all this, but you're controlling almost every aspect of these rules that are being created. What is the effective dates we're using? Uh, what are the different descriptions and codes, the min-max units, min-max grade points? Uh, what are we calling these rules? So again, can't go into all of it here. If you're a multi-institution environment, you can even create rules for multiple institutions or multiple programs at one time. So we've, we've dramatically uh, expanded the product. Now, one of the things I do want to cover is the complex. I'm going to, I'm going to clear this little log space. Um, complex. So one of the things we've done a lot of focus on the last several months is to make RuleMaker fully robust for complex. What is a complex? That's two to one, three to one, one to two. So if I click fetch for complex rules, you can see in my demo environment here, we found four such rules. Um, and again, I'm looking at historical data. This student has already been awarded this, but there's not rules for it. So we're gonna consider making rules for these. So now what we've done here is highlight in yellow. So the yellow highlight highlight the complex grouping. And I won't go into all that now, but basically what we're saying here is math. And let me click on the expand out here so you can see all the columns. Um, so in this first case, math 10 and math 7 together have been articulated to math 104. So that'd be a two to one. And then uh, by way of contrast, History 10, one course, has been equated to two courses. So that's a two to one and a one to two. And the yellow coloring uh, calls attention to that. Let's just say, again, for example purposes, I want to select all, I want to make all these into rules. I'm going to go back to my control and the rest is the same. I built my subject tables and automatically built my rules. Uh, let's go quickly and take a look at my uh, math rule, I think I had a two to one or a one to two. Uh, let's launch that. Let's go take a look. 
PeopleSoft University, and this should be my math. And there's my two to one. You can hopefully see in the window there. Math 10 and 7 are equated to math uh, 104. So just real quick, that's what RuleMaker does. Now the import tool does essentially the same thing, but it's driving off a spreadsheet. So we realize that you may have your articulation rules, whether they're coming in from the test website um, of transferology or whether they're coming in uh, from departments and colleges and you have them in a spreadsheet, you can load them into RuleMaker. Um, we have what we've been, again, too much to go into here, but we've, we've got two modes of loading rules. You can have something called simple mode. So if you choose simple right now, simple mode is off. Now, but if I turn on simple mode, I'm going to use defaults. And so what simple mode does is mean that my file is going to be very minimal. I'll show you what that file looks like. Let's go into uh, Palomar College is one of our customers. Um, we're going to open. This is the simple file format. And you can see that if we've simplified this down to just the incoming course and the equivalent course. The incoming course and the equivalent course. If you can boil your rules down to this, then you can use simple mode import. Uh, I won't go into everything here, but let's demo simple mode import. So if I go here and click upload rules, I'm going to go grab that simple file, my Palomar folder. There's my simple file and upload that. And RuleMaker just uploaded those 10, how many is it? Uh, yeah, 10, 10 rules for my simple file. Um, so here's what it uploaded. You can see the incoming course and the equivalent course. Again, it's just simple data. They're all getting the same course ID. But I can edit this. Let's say this one I want to give uh, a different music course. I'm just going to search for music. And anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on that here, but it looked like I, say, I chose the same course by mistake. Well, i got to do a different one now. Um, that's embarrassing. Uh, we're going to do, okay, at least number six just to show you. that. Um, okay, but anyway, all this looks good. I'm not going to spend too much time here on the data, but let's say I like these two, uh, you know, but again, I could select all of them if I like all of them and make rules for all of them. Again, I can analyze my grid with my pivot table that opens up. Um, but the point is that with my upload, I can then load in my data and I can, the rest of it's the same. I'm going to click to create my school course tables and to create my transfer rules. So I just built um, that music rule for Long Beach City College. So that's a very powerful additional mode of, of loading in rules from a simple spreadsheet. Um, the, the other aspect of this is the tests. And again, if you're a user of the test product and you, you've got equivalencies in tests, we provide a special pre-staging area. I won't go into this too much detail, but you can load data straight from uh, from tests, from a spreadsheet from tests into um, this pre-staging and then we will push it through into PeopleSoft in the, in the mechanism I just showed you. Um, the other thing that we have is something called Rule Simple. And again, I, I, I'm not going to spend too much. Let me, let me clear my uh, log here and I'm going to purge my, um, my grid. So what, what Rule Simple lets me do for me is rapid data entry. So yeah, Rule Maker and Rule Detail are meant for, for higher volume scenarios probably, but Rule Simple is you might just have five or 10 rules you want to cr quickly create for a particular school. So I'm going to sit here for Long Beach City College and I'm going to enter um, Zoology 101. That is going to be uh, Butterflies. And that's zoology. What is the course ID? I'm going to give that. Let's look up a biology class. OK. 
Okay, well, I won't worry too much about the data, but you, um, I can insert additional rows here. So let's say I have another one. Let's say that's art, art 101, art, uh, 101 that's going to be drawing. Trying to go quickly here for the video. Uh, let's find an art class. You're just going to say that. So what I'm going to do here is then save and push, apply my defaults. So what I did there was take my defaults, push them to my grid, and I'm ready to build rules. I'm going to build everything right now. So by clicking build courses and rules, rule maker just wrapped through and built everything. My zoology subject, my art courses, my rules. And you say, well, where's the rule that we built? Let's go look, let's go look at our art rule that we just built. We, we can click go here. It's going to launch the window. And we're going to look for our art rule. And there it is. I think that's it. That's my, yeah, that's my drawing rule right there. So the point is that with rules simple, I can very quickly just sit here and punch in uh, rules and build them very rapidly. Um, I want to, I'll create some different videos. I want to stop there because that's getting, that's a, I think is a good introduction to RuleMaker. Um, what comes with RuleMaker also is something called Rule Detail, which is a view only. Um, let's go to, you'll see, um, Rule, rule detail is a collapsed viewable screen. We want you to be able to quickly look at the rules that you have quickly. In, I can launch and go to that rule if I need to edit it. But this screen lets me quickly look at all my rules by subject area. Let's go to something like Florida Keys. So that's rule, uh, rule, rule detail. Uh, just so you can quickly look at your rules. And we have a lot of other tools. I'll create another video on Transcript Express and Equate and some of our other tools. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope you've liked what you've seen with RuleMaker and believe this tool can uh, really accelerate your usage of, uh, of transfer articulations. Uh, all right, thank you.